Okay, last 32 now of the 30 Met Bowls British Open. Gary McNabb playing with the Black Bowls. Black Top up against James Trott playing with the Red Bowls and the Blue Top. Should be an interesting matchup. Second end being played here. James picks up two on the first end. Gary McNabb, three time winner on the tour. No stranger to the show mat, as is James Trot. Hi, Eddie, thanks for joining us. See James going aggressive for this. Well, gives him shot. Into the jack, ideally. Yeah, we're just on the, the draw here. A bit of chalk will be a bonus. No, he's not got him for shot there. Let's give a bit of room for a bit of room for James. He was eyeing up beforehand. I think he is gonna play this. Yeah, underneath. Just over the draw, reaching down. It's a good hand to play this short shot on. Yeah, very good. Played it with a good pace. Just leaves Gary to try and follow that. Again, he's all on the pace here. Yeah, he's good. Has it quite got enough? It'll still be James's. So, one to James, a bit of football there. Three nil to James after two ends. 12 ends to be played. If these players came through their group and last 64 matches. So this will be their seventh match of the tournament. Don't forget if you have got any questions, please let us know. Got all of the last 32 from the cup competition in play. And we're down to the last 16 in both the plate and shield competitions. Going aggressive here early. No, not the result he was after. Gary will just continue to draw here. It's changed hands. Slightly swingier hand this one. Switching hands also. <coughs> like still shot to Gary. <laughs> so still Gary holding there. <coughs> Hi Kirsty, I believe Thomas lost in the last round. So the last 64. Be overly happy with that. I wanted to reach a bit more. There is an opportunity for James here just to drop down, push the shot bowl away, stay for two. Might be a little bit careful, doesn't want to leave his bowl exposed. He's yeah, he's playing it with a sensible weight. Is he giving it quite enough? Might not. Weight was probably okay. He got onto his own bowl. Gary's just looking to see if there is an opportunity here for a big count. Possibly is. Some 
directly from behind the head here. You can see possibly an opportunity there for Gary to squeeze the second bowl, which is James's bowl, out the head. There is some danger in this. He could catch James's too thick and take the shot bowl out. But first big chance, really. Oh, he's nice and wide. Doesn't want to be too wide to this. Close. Yeah, good bolt. James is bolted, fall back in. That's two shots, I think. So, two shots to Gary. Gary on the scoreboard, 3-2. To James after three ends. So, that'll go to 3-2. Gary's chosen for the jack to be short. Players are playing for the 30 Matt Bowles British Open Trophy. First prize of £750. So Gary's already won three ranking singles events. James has had a runners up. Plenty of silver and bronze medals. Looking for that first gold medal. Made the final in Norway. Back in 2018. Losing to Benny Shorgren. Gary's last final was against William Box in Ireland. Pushing to the forehand and drop round everything here. It's out on a nice wide road. And that's in for two. Probably wanted to finish a bit further than that, get behind the jack. Gary will continue down this backhand, trying to manoeuvre his way through the gap, push the shot bowl away. Close here. He's opened it up a good touch. Good bowl from James here. Make it very difficult for <coughs> Gary with his last bowl. That looked tight out of the hand. Oh, just held on. Just held on. I think the pace just kept it up. That hasn't made things any easier for Gary. I think you can just see Gary, yeah, Gary's playing weight to this. He's got the plant. That'll push the jack back. Oh, he's got a really harsh result there. Could still be three down. Definitely holding two. There's another case of that hand just holding off. He wanted to catch the bowl he hit full rather than catching it on the edge. If anything, I'd say the forehand is the safest option here. And drop onto the bowl of Gary's. Pushing it away, close here. Yep, it's got it. Four shots. So a really big end there for James. Seven two now after four. Shows you the, the level if you miss one shot. You get an opponent that will punish you. Both of these guys are more than capable of that. 
Gary's just not quite giving himself a, the best opportunity. I say both of these players more than capable. Thanks, Colin. Certainly has been really good standard so far on the show map. Hi Robert, I'll have a look and see if I can get the score of some Ollie and Souls matches for you. As we see James dropping down. Yeah, good bowl again. <coughs> Gary trying to follow it down, he's not in the gap here. Well, I think the best thing James can do here is make sure he's behind. Don't want to be sitting jack high or sitting on top of the jack. He wants to be round it. He needs to run a bit more. A bit more. Yeah, that's good. Very good. He's putting Gary under pressure here, making Gary having to play running bowls. Gary's just missing at the moment, not quite at the races. Gary normally very consistent with the running bowl. He doesn't often have to use it. And which again, can be too close to this and make the target bigger. Doesn't want to make it any bigger, obviously. Yeah, that's good. Good uh, clap of the hands as well from Gary. Always good to see your opponent. Good sportsmanship. Both these guys get on really well as well off the mat. Let's do most of the players here on the tour. Good hit, really good hit. So two shots to Gary. Yep, really good hit there. Needed that one. With a real danger there of going eight behind. Puts him right back in this match. Seven four after five. That's why I said Gary normally very consistent with the running bowls. There we go. Confirmation. Seven four. Five ends played. And Gary's changed the length again to long now. He might be happy with that. I think we might see an aggressive shot here from James. Yeah, yeah, looking for the jack. Wow. Gary himself looks like he's going to go for this. That looks like it's just going to hang as well. Wow. Probably back to a draw now. If players have got that out of their system. It's a tricky hand to play that on actually. On a draw it comes back. So you hear this ball will drop right back to the jack. Plain weight on that hand. There's a touch up. Plain weight, it tends to just hold off. He's given it more weight this time. He's got the shot, but. Well, just be sticking to the draw if it was me here. I think if it was a more swingier on the other side of the mat. I'll be, draw, I'll be looking for the jack, but yeah, just draw him down. It's a good bowl if he falls, he's got the shot. Yeah, so it's shot bowl to James. That's almost perfect, really. He's sat on top of Gary's bowl. Gary, what Gary can do really is draw down. He should drop back from there. Well, 
I think we might be seeing a positive shot this time. No real danger. He's, oh, he's got a shot. So many options there. Yep, one shot to James. Eight, four now. After six. <coughs> Five, two, Geffin, the uh, score on Daths Matt. I can't tell you who is actually leading that. I'll try and get some scores for you in a minute. So, James, 8-4, the halfway stage. Be very happy with that. Gary needs to get himself back into this. Played a really good last bowl coming back this way. On the fourth end, or the fifth end, sorry. So, to say about that, how that hand's just sticking a little bit, and it is. It's been there all weekend doing that. Well, that's finished fairly well. Ian Hobson's still going, Devon. I don't know uh, how he's getting on in this round. Gary's body language there, knowing that he's just not finding it really on that hand. I think, I think James can have a look at this himself because if he does get onto the plant, all he's doing is planting Gary away. It's close here, I think. Yeah, he's got it clean. Very good shot. That was the best result for James. Just. To In for second now. Nice and wide draw here. He's out on a good road. All on the pace here. Has he got enough? Not quite. So it's just one to James. Confirmed there. Benny Bass went out in the plate competition, uh, Brad. It's been a very difficult group which had Steve McAllister and Noel Graham in, and Steve Proctor. So one shot to James, nine for four now after seven ends. Just for those that haven't got their sound on. Here we go, nine for seven ends. James has gone for a three quarter length jack. See uh, the marker there, Andy, just tapping the chalk marks that are in a ditch out. They're put there for those of you who don't know for when bowls and the jack go in the ditch, just so you know where they are in case they get moved. this one here yeah. finishing very well Gary's going for the jack on the forehand plan it controlled this time I still think that will hang a little bit it's got a good result there though killed the shot bowl and finished behind the jack gave it a chance to turn I don't think this is quite here. No, no chance for Gary now. Draw him for two. 
Put a bit of pressure on. Last bowl. Don't think it's in. I think it's just the one still. Yeah, just the one. Oh, right, William. Yes, I believe uh, Nigel. Uh, sorry, Ni uh, Noel Graham's still in. Wow, that's a brave, brave shot from James there. Oh, oh. Gotta be playing for the big four here. It's close. Yeah, dangerous just leaving the one bowl in there. He's got away with it to some degree. It might only be two. Four shots there. I think that was actually a mistake by James. Don't think that was four. That would have probably only just a two, but I think James's frustration, he kicked his own shot bowl to the jack. It definitely, definitely was two. A measure for the third and fourth. And that will give Gary a the spring now. So nine eight to James. Eight tens played. Four inches ahead. Four. Four inches ahead, yeah. So Jack's four inches behind the shot bowl. Gary asking how far. Gary now. Straight away confidence up, drawing really good bowls. Pressure reverts back to James here. That was a, in my opinion, a bad, bad option to go for the running bowl with his last bowl. Should have been drawing in. You see, that's just affected him on this end. He's got to get that out of his mind. Really happy, but he's not made the target any bigger. James has just got to draw. Draw the back bowl really is a target. He's out on a better road here. Is he giving it enough? Not quite. Still finds himself three down. I think that's still affected him from the last end. Just shows you you've got to. Keep your concentration all the way through. Now we made a mistake, you've got to just get over that. Well, oh, that's not made it any easier. Mm. Gary said, Gary saying he'll take that. I think he certainly will. That's finished very well. It's got to be a perfect draw around it now. Oh, he's got to play weight to this. <laughs> Three shots to Gary. So two really big ends for Gary on the scorecard there. Gary now takes the lead. 11 9 after nine ends. So really big turnaround in this match. Seven shots in two ends. Gary's already <laughs> pulled his first bowl. He's rapid on the mat. James has left himself a bit to do here. Yeah. 
Gary's definitely bowling with a lot more confidence now. You can see the difference that four made. Again, Gary suggesting that he thought there was only two, maybe possibly three at most, but unfortunately James when kicking one of the bowls away. Pushed his own bowl through the jack. And obviously you've got to concede all the shots then. Yeah, good bowl from Shot there, I think now. Gary's trying to reach down to this. It's slightly tight. Well, just slight mistake from slight mistake from Gary. Don't think he'll miss again. So James has got to try and push his own up here. As it is, I know he's dropping on the backhand. Big draw around everything. He's got to drop right back from there. Left it open. Oh, chance for Gary again here. Likes it this time. Good bowl. Can't afford to give Gary too many opportunities like this. And he did, left it for Gary. So. All right, John, yeah, certainly is a, a nail biting match, this one. Gary's come right back in to take a, the lead. James is under pressure again on the 10th end. Two down in the head. Doesn't give much away with his expressions. See what he plays here. I think he could, he's playing the forehand, so let's see what Harsh result there, still two down. Two shots to Gary, so 13 9 now after 10 ends, two to go. Push from James now. Needs to get himself back into this ever since that shot was well, the four. Gary's really been on the march. He's got to forget that, get on with the, the end in play. John got the shot. As you're just joining us, the score is currently 13-9 to Gary McNabb. We're playing the 11th end, 12 ends to be played. James did rush into a... That's two, two, three. So an eight, uh, eight four lead, but seven shots in two ends from Gary. Chance here for James. Ideally, needs to pick up at least two on this end to give himself a good chance on the last end. Holding one currently. Getting into the nitty gritty of this tournament now, into the last 32. Start getting into the prize money in the next round, last 16. Playing for the title on £750. 
Oh, I just missed the block. So you got the jack? Wow. I think everybody breathed in, everybody gasped, that went past. This could be goal for the match now. The way Gary's playing in this second half, I think uh, I think he'll get it. James much now. He needs to draw the line. Otherwise it'll be Gary. I don't think he's there. That's it. So that's Gary through to the last 16. All right, thank you for joining us. We'll be back again in the next session. We'll be in the last 16 then. Gary will be through to that stage. Thank you for joining us and we'll catch you again in about 15-20 minutes.